what's up i don't know if i'm loud or not but what's up it's your boy melvin nobles aka the great and welcome to nerd madness where it's okay not to be okay <sighs> i'm so excited to be back we were having some uh technical difficulties which is why i hadn't been on my podcast in a minute but guess what your boy's back and i'm excited because i love talking on this thing i love just sitting here in my room like i'm talking to myself but i'm not talking to myself because i'm talking to y'all and then um it's just really cool because like i want to see how far i can push it you know you know like you know but yeah i don't know if y'all if i don't even know if this can hear me or not. i don't give me give me one second one second Okay, I think we are good, but I guess we're going to see. I don't know. But anyway, so <sighs> today's topic, which most of these are, are uh, pre-recorded. Well, not this. If I'm on air, then like this is just so anybody can join. But if I ever do post like a podcast, usually it's pre-recorded and I can edit it, do whatever. You know, uh, even these video are when I do come off of... Uh, live i can uh download it record it fix it how i want to so you know yeah but it's harder to do it this way i don't know why but it, it's hard to do it this way but anyways so i'm gonna talk about a, a little bit about nerd madness real quick so uh officially nerd madness started in nine 2019 that's whenever i had got my first business license for nerd madness and actually mdn entertainment as well which it which before it was called M mdn entertainment i think i was calling it like mdn company oh man okay but that's a that's an event planning company this is my retail company uh which is based off of anime pop culture geeky things things of, of that nature if you're a weeb a geek or whatever you know you know if you know, you know. If you shop collectibles, you know. And essentially, the plan is to have, like, my own retail store, my online store, to be able to make custom-made uh, custom items um, for people. Like, if you're trying to go out and you're trying to, like, really nerd it out, like, I want to be the, the, the guy you come to, which is what I was doing the first time, which I, I did make one. It, it was, like, a unicorn type thing, but, you know. It was fun. That's the goal. That's what I want to get back to a Nerd Madness. But the goal, the overall mission for Nerd Madness is to support mental health. To support and advocate for mental health and just to let everybody know that it's okay to not be okay. Like, if you need somebody to talk to, you need to reach out. If you need to figure out sources so you can find somebody to talk to, that's what I want my website to have facebook to have those numbers that you can call that'll lead you back to the uh i forgot dang what is it called it was on my website but my website's not up right now but anyways it'll take you to the government page that gives you all the numbers that you can call like look for like the veterans anybody can go on there and they can find and seek help you know uh and this is me being me this is genuine this is genuinely me this is this is nobles this is the great this is who i am I've always been a person that'll listen. I've always been a person of understanding. I mean, it took me a while to get that way because before it was a over, I, I was a little bit of a know-it-all, but like, I love people. I love humans. I love myself. I love, I love things just like everybody else. But yeah, so my mission statement, I, uh, oh, I'm hungry. My stomach just growled, but I got coffee right now. So I guess I'm good. But anyways, <laughs> my mission statement it's gonna stick i love it um i am gonna have a commercial i am gonna have like like this radio show is gonna be more formal so like a lot of things that i say i really just improv it but some things like you will see it like it's gonna be repetitive like usually at the end i think at the end of each show i'll usually uh let everybody know that hey it's okay just uh so before we end the show i just want everybody to know that when you come on here, it's okay not to be okay. You know, I kind of give that little speech, you know, and that's what I'm going to do, but it's going to be more formal because I want people, when I listen to the show, when they wear my products, when they uh, donate, when they do any of that, those things, I want them to know that looking at that nerd star is a reminder that it's okay not to be okay. 
that we got you, that, you know, we're, we're here to help. When you see any of my designs, whenever you go to any of my stores, any of those things, when you see me at an event, you're going to know that, dude, it's okay. I need to talk to my mom. I need to talk to somebody. Because I'm, I'm not a therapist, by the way. I'm not a counselor. I'm really not. I, I don't try to be one. I just know what it's like to, like, have nobody to talk to. And, you know, I've, I've been there. I've done that. Which sometimes it's not even that we don't have anybody to talk to. It's just that we don't know that we don't know how to reach out. And and that's what, like, I like to advocate for. It's like, help my friend be able to reach out. Help somebody be able to reach out and let them know that it's okay. And that's why it starts off with telling yourself that, man, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Dang, who can I talk to? So you see, it kind of just like starts like that. That's how it starts. Instead of, I mean, instead, oh gosh. Instead of like trying to (laughs) sit there and then just hold it all in and then end up blowing a fuse or or something. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot. Um... Also on my show, I want to I want to do free advertisements, you know, for business businesses starting out just to, to communicate or to get the word out for everybody. Like, I feel like we all need the help. Like, we're all trying to get somewhere to do something. And that's that's what I'm about. Like, we need to help each other. Put out the word for each other. Stop being jealous of each other and just help each other. Like, get out there like. I'm not doing anything better than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure that we are getting out there, spreading the word for each other's businesses. Um, and just real quick, I'm trying to stop. I got to stop saying that um word. That That's going to quit. I'm going to stop that. Because when I listen to speeches and they use the little um or like the little pause, the thing, I, I can't, I can't. That's not going to be me. I'm going to figure it out, y'all. I'm going to figure it out. But anyways, this is fun. I like I like coming on here and talking. And like my little uh like ADHD and whatnot, trying to figure out and get my mind together and multitask and I just love it. And excuse me real quick. Now I know I shouldn't be texting while I'm doing this, but I'm going to real quick. Give me one second, please, as I sip some of this coffee. Ah, and send this message. Da 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 Mm-hmm. So anyways, so yeah. But usually um if you do plan on being the shows like on on my on my show, usually I will it'll it'll all be planned. Like most of the time I'm gonna call you message you give you the key like things that we're going to talk about or whatever subject you want to you're going to be the guest obviously so i'm going to set it up get um your social media platform yeah platforms for you post them on my page and you know, we'll go up there like i want to make it easy for you when you come on to my uh show or whatever it's going to be just super duper easy for you just come on get the stuff done you promote on your end i'm gonna promote on my end and we gonna get some stuff going like it, it's really fun. It's fun, y'all. Like you don't gotta be scared. Just get on here and talk. Don't overthink it. We we overthink a lot when really just just get on here. Just talk, you know. Like yeah, I we may not get followers. I I don't know, but guess what? It's all it's pre recorded. So I'm gonna tell you one thing. You post, you post, you repost, you repost. Get the name out there. Get your name out there. You know, I, I don't know, but. I mean, I do know. I don't know, but anyways, topic: checking on your family and friends, checking on people. I think it's really important. We have to check on each other. We need to check on each other. I mean, you don't have to do anything, but checking on others just by saying like, "How are you doing?" or giving a call, even if you know they're not gonna answer. Now, there's a difference. Like sometimes people do just need their space, and so. You know, they'll turn off their phones. Like me, I usually turn mine on silent. It'll be on silent all day, and I'll just check and see if somebody called or not. But 
check on check on your peoples because sometimes people don't know how to reach out and when you do check on them just be like hey are you okay or do you need somebody to talk to it may not they may not have to talk want to talk to you right then and there but maybe like an hour or two or maybe like later on that week they're like man hey i do need to talk like i've been wanting to and i'm glad you reached out now it it doesn't mean okay because some people i get it like oh you didn't check on me then so why are you checking on me me now well the point is for me is that you are they are checking on you now you don't know what they were going through as well and sometimes you do have to be a little bit selfish you know taking care of yourself taking care of your mental health and then you have to be in a right state of mind to be able to check on somebody sometimes that's just how i feel about it but sometimes some people are good about hiding what they got going on to you know putting people first they do i mean like i used to do that all the time oh my god I would be going through the most, but I would still just be checking on people. And I felt like I had to do it. And I mean, that's okay. But also I was forgetting about me. I was forgetting about me. I was taking on everybody, like how they felt. And I was just holding it in. And then I was like, dang, what about me though? But I didn't realize that until later on because I'll be stressing. I'm over here stressing about somebody else. Like I'm all like, oh my gosh, which is okay. But taking care that's what i'm trying to get like taking care of myself would have been just be more like okay well you know what i see what they're going through i did i checked on them now let me take a day to myself you know sorry i took a, another sip of coffee i know it's about lunch time but uh this is my lunch today but um we got to, we have to, not have to, but we got to get better at it as a community, just checking on each other, checking on our friends and, friends and family. I've heard people, I've had people tell me that, man, I just wish that somebody would just talk to me. But you, but you, and you would think like, but you come off standoffish. Are they coming off standoffish though? Or, or are you just scared to go over there and talk? Because I've had people tell me, at, uh, especially at work, which this is work. Usually when I'm at work, like, I, I don't play. Like, this is not, don't, like, I, I'm work mode most of the time. I mean, I'm hyperactive, but I like work mode. So most of the time, like, I'll listen, especially if there's a cry for help. But, like, most of the time I'm trying to get stuff done. But I won't ignore somebody. And even if they do look standoffish, maybe it's not that. Maybe they just don't know how to interact. So I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go and ask anyway. It's like. Uh, whenever I was in basic training, I had a friend, he would just sit there and people would say, oh, well, he just likes to be to himself. And then I thought to myself, well, do we know that he likes to be to himself or he just doesn't know how to talk or whatever, which there is like, there's boundaries. Believe me. Like, I don't just go like talking to everybody and don't give them space. Like I read, I read the room. I'm very good at reading the room. I just went up there and be like, hey, uh, hey, so-and-so battle buddy. I'm just checking on you, making sure you're good. Um, letting you know. And I did, this is on it. I said, if you need somebody to talk to, let me know. I don't want to get in your bubble, but I just want you to know that, you know, I'm here. So I'm going to go over here. Kid you not. Maybe like an hour or two because we weren't doing anything. We're waiting to go on our, our next mission. Came up to me, started talking. We started talking. He said, man, I really appreciate that. You know, and it, I mean, when I tell you, he just went straight into it. And if you listen to this podcast, he'll know who it is. He may come on here one of these days, but he'll know. <laughs> he'll know I'm talking about him because I remember he, he just went straight into talking. Like, he said, I really appreciate you talking. And he just went into it. Like, didn't, like, we went and I said, okay, cool. And I was genuinely, I genuinely wanted to listen. Like, it wasn't just something I was doing for the better of the community. I did it because for me, and maybe he did me something. It made me feel better. But also, I like to help people. So sometimes I'll do things because it makes them feel better. I'm like, maybe he needs to. And then me knowing that it would probably make feel better, it just like, oh, I was like, hey. Hold on real quick. Oh, anyways. It's like, hey. um, Dang it, I hate when I do that. I hate that so much. It's the caffeine for me. It's me losing my train of thought because I looked at something that popped up on my screen. I hate that so much. <laughs> wow. But anyway, 
<laughs> anyway, that my boy, whatever. He started talking, which he was always known to just start popping up and telling stories anyways. So it didn't surprise me when he just started talking about like the things he was going on or like why he was sitting there quiet. And like he said, he wasn't really taking space to himself. He was just like really stressed. So he kind of just went into his own bubble and he was just staring out into space. So it like he said when I did that, and which I with him, I did that a lot too. I was just gonna check. So I'm like, yeah, I don't think he's trying to get space. I think he's just like kind of out of it. So I just went and checked. So he said, thank you, because I had done that before. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 man, no problem. I got you. It's like, you need someone to talk to. I understand. I mean, it's okay. You can take your space as well. I get it, because we are around a lot of people. And me, y'all, when I was in basic, I like my space. Go on, give me my space. But I wasn't, like, mean to people. If they came over there, it is what it is. Like, we're just, there's a bunch of us. There's a bunch of us. And I, I was really good at hiding my little attitude that I would have, which will only be there when it was cold, when when it was cold, I was just in my head like, mother, but I would hide it. I would hide it so well, and I was just thinking like, y'all, shut up, because I'm about to blow. Like, it's too cold for this. But once it started warming up, the attitude got better. But anyway, back then, yeah. Yeah, all, I, all it took was just me talking, just saying that, like, hey, we need somebody to talk to. Not me inserting myself and making him talk, because some people do that, and it works for you. Like, I have friends that do insert, who, who will insert themselves and like kind of force you to talk and that works for some people for me it doesn't i like give you space you know you want to you'll always have the option and then i'll just check again because some people they'll be like man i'm glad he came over there hopefully he comes back she come back he come back it don't matter you know yeah but yeah we gotta we gotta check on each other also family i think it's good to check on family even though a lot of family members can be bitter about once you do finally call, they want to bring up the fact that you haven't called. Like, let's stop that because it, it worked. We, as family, we, we got to stop that. We have to stop that. At least they call. At least they call. Forgive me for trying to grow and become a per the person that I'm meant to be. Forgive me. Really, I shouldn't even be sorry. I'm not sorry. No one should be sorry for trying to grow. No. Because at the end of the day, at least I called. At least I got to you. And I understand things can happen. I understand things can happen. But the point is, it hasn't happened yet. And the the thing is, what God, the universe, let us do is communicate right then and there. And we did. Because guess what? The phone works two ways. You can always check. Like, sometimes it's not that people are trying to hide. Like, they're, it's not that they're trying to avoid you. Sometimes they're trying to get their minds right. Sometimes they may want you to, to check because they're always used to calling calling you. And now there's this expectation. Oh, yeah, that's my cousin, my niece, nephew, whoever it is. They always, and now they just don't. They forgot about it. They didn't forget about you. They're just worried about what they got going on. We forget about that. Stop it. That's something. Actually, you know, for the week, that's something that we can work on right there. Stop it. Quit it. Be nice. Hell. Am I allowed to say that? I can say what I want to. Hell, I'm the one recording. Ooh, but, yeah. I <laughs> when I want to, and I'll do it again. But I do want to go ahead and uh, mention something, too, that I have been working on for a while. Now, the cover, I'm not going to – I'm I'm not I'm not going to lie. So, sometimes – if you're on my Snapchat, sometimes on Instagram, I'm always talking about getting your shit together. like, Or in person, I'll say, yeah, it's time to get your shit together. We got to get our shit together. Well, guess what? Your boy wrote a wrote a journal. It's called it's a get your shit together journal. Okay, it has a nerd mad madness star on there, which I'm gonna take off. But in the time, if you just want a journal, like anything I do create, I want it to be like a collectible, honestly. So, like if you get this journal, I want you to see this as a collectible from Nerd Madness. Like, oh yeah, this was the first edition of the Nerd Madness. Uh, <laughs> get your shit together journal and then i bought the new one he made so i'm gonna leave this one up like i am changing the cover it just takes a couple of days for it to go into effect but yeah if you want the one with the the messed up design on there go ahead and get it you know what it has like a lot of good things in here like it's your daily journal you write in it write your thoughts you have a 30 day challenge that's in here where you can it talks about like it's uh like your new habits 
why why is this important for me it has your strengths your weaknesses the reward and then it has like little slots that you can fill in for how many days that you're doing like you know the challenge for all right well it's 30 days but it has 30 slots and you mark it out each time that you, you do whatever challenge you got and then like after it it even has the questionnaire like how did it go what did you learn rate this challenge and I believe in this journal, it may have it in there because this is like 80 something pages, I think, or 74, 78. I don't remember. It may have it in here two times, if I'm correct. Two times you can put in there so that way you can kind of, you can go in order. Oh, no, it, it's pretty neat. Now, there's a lot of, there there are not a lot of people. It's only been two people so far because, you know, I was trying to get it to see what people thought, you know, thought about it. Some who are a little bit hyper, they said, oh, my God, like, you know, I really just like regular journals so that way I can spew my thoughts in as well. And I totally get that. Believe me, I do. I'm I'm very ADHD, and sometimes it's hard whenever I see a lot of things that have, power, or that have challenges. But I've trained my mind, like, to just I, – I love the challenges. Like, if I'm reading something and it has, like, a task, I love it now. But before, I, I felt like – I was just being lazy when I would say, oh, no, I just want to journal so I can spill my my thoughts. Well, you can still do that in this book, this this journal. That's what it's for. You can spill your your uh, your uh thoughts in here as well. But when you see something, it says, today I'm grateful for, it just gets you thinking, what am I grateful for today? I am grateful for, you know, my son, my daughter, my dog. I'm grateful. And then there's like, you know, at the end of each uh week, you know, you put, it has the top three things I did this week. That's fun. Like top three things I did this week is this week I felt like, and then it has like, you know, at the doctor's office, office, how you see like the smiley faces, the happy, sad, whatever. It has that. You can like color it in or whatever. And it just has a lot of my, my ranking of the week. It has like the five stars. So I give this week like a five star or whatever. And Make sure you guys look at the back of it as well because it has a calendar at the back of this journal. I didn't, and then it has a um, I did not realize I put one more 30 days challenge at the end of it. Look, there you go, you got something extra now. So there's three 30, 30 day challenges <laughs> that's cool, but yeah, it, it has a calendar so you can mark your little, you know, your little days off, be organized. But y'all, it's time to get our shit together. And then in the middle of the book, too, it has a breathing exercise. You'll find it in there. It's a breathing exercises. That's good for the mind. That's cool. Go ahead. Get your shit together. Look out for it. Your boy, Nova Nobles. Go ahead and know. I, I did that. I'm excited. I pat myself on the back for it. Yes. Stop playing with him. Um. Just know I'm coming. I'm coming. And for y'all who think I thought I was never coming, I'm coming. Actually, I've already been here. But some of y'all just like, that's another subject I want to talk about. When I get my girl Anna on this, we there's something we got to talk about. Like, like, before I get into that, though, remember, are you okay? I want you to ask yourself that today. Are you okay? If not, talk talk to somebody. Write it down. By getting this journal. No, I'm just playing. Let me quit doing that. <laughs> By getting this journal, you should be okay. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, <laughs> talk to somebody. Express yourself. Create create a social media. Like, or not a social media. Go on social media and vent. Like, I know some people are like, oh, you post your business out there. Well, social media is like writing in a journal. It's a way you can vent. And it's a way that you can vent, not the event. It's a way you can vent, and it's also a way that you can it, tell people. Like you can, you're you're asking for for help. Like I don't tell anybody. I I used to always say, stop, don't put your business on there. But if you want to, do what you do. If that makes you feel better, that makes you feel better. People gonna think differently of you, but guess what? They do that even if you don't put it on there. Do what you want to. Post what you want to. Shit. Am I allowed to say that? Hold on, wait, real quick, y'all. I forgot. This has a little... Because I keep cussing up in this mother. <laughs> y'all mother. <laughs> hey, mother.
Oh man, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, give me one second. So I'm gonna go on mute for a, a hot minute. Give me one second. Let me put on some here. I got y'all. Oh, no, I got you. Here. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something petty. Y'all. That song, <laughs> that little song went hard. <laughs> it was like like a musical or something. <laughs> like it was giving me like hairspray. <laughs> Low key, I was like dancing. <laughs> that was giving very much hairspray. <laughs> that really got me listening to hairspray. I I'm gonna throw something up. I hate when people sit there send me voice memos. Y'all quit sending me voice memos on Snapchat when I'm doing something. That's when you know I'm recording. I I can't listen to it. Dang, I can't listen to it. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. Just, just take. Okay, you know what? That's me. But for real, now see now y'all need to ask. Am I okay? Cause now I'm not. I'm mad. I am mad. I am done. But it's okay, because guess what? I got you guys on my side, and that makes me, that makes me happy. All right, so I'm trying to do something, by the way. I'm trying to see what's, what's going on real quick. Hold on. Hey, give me, give me one more second. I'm going <laughs> to, here, here you go. I'm, I'm dead.
I'm 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 mad. My mic was turned off. <laughs> I was talking into the mic. <laughs> I didn't know I was on mute still. <sighs> okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna be back on later on today. Just look, just know that it's okay not to be okay and know that this is a safe haven for you to come here. I'm never gonna try to dog you, make fun of you. It's just when you come on to this show, know that. So make sure that you be yourself. You come on here. Say what you got to say, and remember, it's okay not to be okay. Stay nerdy. I'll be back on later. Actually, I should be on a friend's podcast uh, later, which we're going to promote that as well. So be ready because we're doing this all day. Stop playing with them.